Hi everybody, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. My dear students, now NPTEL has released their January to April 2023 courses and exam dates. So you will find all this information in my today's video. Now this is the perfect time that you need to watch this video and you need to make note of all the important dates if you are interested to apply for this season's NPTEL courses and if you want to register for the exams and if you are really interested to get the certificates. So here I will be showing you the detailed information about this season's January to April 2023 courses important dates. So without taking too much of the time, let me start this uh, today's important video. So first of all, we will talk about the course duration. So in this 2023 season, NPTEL has as usual kept their courses duration in three forms. That is in four weeks, eight weeks and 12 weeks. Okay, so you have the possibility, you have the option of deciding that which course is suitable based on your requirement. As usual, NPTEL has framed the duration in two categories of courses. One is the set one courses, another one is set two courses. Many of you will get confused with this. What is the difference between set one courses and this set two courses? So this is set two. So you can see in set one courses also we have four weeks, eight weeks. In set two courses also we have four weeks and eight weeks. What is the main difference? The main difference lies between the start of the course. So set one courses, they will start one month earlier, approximately one month earlier. Set two courses, they will begin one month late after the set one courses. As usual, it follows related exams also, which means if set one courses exams has been conducted now, then the set two courses will be conducted a month later. So which means you will get the difference of one month approximately between the set one courses and set two courses and there is one a special course that is 12 weeks course depending on the requirement depending on your availability of time you can opt for this 12 weeks also okay this is course duration and the second important thing is the enrollment so my dear NPTEL aspirants if still if you are not enrolled for the NPTEL courses then this is the best time because already the enrollment has begun from November 14 so you can see here all the courses have been open now so you can apply for set one courses as well as set two courses as well as 12 weeks courses so already the enrollment has begun from november 14th itself and when the enrollment is going to end so you can see here set one courses as per the 12 weeks courses the enrollment ends january 30 itself so you can see here whereas the four weeks and eight weeks courses of set two the enrollment ends on february 20th so which means I already told you that there will be a one month difference between the set one courses and the set two courses. So you can see the difference here. So de depending on your time, depending on your convenient availability of time, then you can opt for these courses, whether you are interested in set one or set two. And when the courses are going to start, so you can see here the set one courses as well as, as, well as the 12 weeks course, they will start from January 23rd. So from January 23rd onwards, your online video lectures, your assignments, everything will come into play. Whereas for the set two courses, February 20. So as usual, as, as I told you, it will start it will start a month later, approximately one, one month later. So this is from where you should be totally 100% alert. Once the course has been started, you will get in terms as you will get in time assignments. You need to submit those assignments also. And the next thing, when the course is going to end, so the set one courses they are going to end four weeks. As we know, four weeks course is going to end on February 17th itself. Okay, you can see eight weeks course March 17th, 12 weeks April 14th, and related to set two courses four weeks. March 17th and 8 weeks April 14th. So depending on the course which you, which you have selected you need to note down these dates that is important. So 4 weeks course will end early as usual 8 weeks course it will end after a month of 4 weeks course. So 12 weeks course it will end after a month on which 4 weeks has uh, sorry 8 weeks has completed. So there will be a difference of 1 1 month between 4 weeks 8 weeks and 
12 weeks courses and related to the exam dates so you can see here the set one courses they will have the you will have the exam on march 26th okay while coming to the 12 weeks course april 29th and 30 and four weeks and eight weeks course for set one april 29th and 30 which means if we calculate all these dates if we count how many days the nptl conducts exams every season you can see here march 26th so here nptl conducts the exams on this day march 26th and april 29 and 30 so which means two days so if we just add this is one day first set one courses are conducted on march 26th plus these two days where the 12 weeks course set two courses are conducted which means how many days one plus two so three days so totally our nptl conducts exams every season three days okay and in those three days the main thing we need to see is forenoon session and afternoon session will be conducted which means totally we'll be having six exams so totally six exams six sessions will be there where nptl will conduct the exam both in forenoon and afternoon sessions and, and related to the exam registration still the nptl has not announced the date for the exam registration so first thing you people should do now after watching this video is you can enroll for the courses you can register for the courses and wait for the notification you will get an email notifying that the exam registration has been open so you can fill up fill up this form and the last date for exam registration as well as the fee payment also will be notified to you very soon and in case if you have not registered and pay the exam fee then they will give you the time including the late fee also this date also nptl is going to announce soon and if you want to do any type of changes in your data in which you have submitted then nptl will give some time also for you to do any type of changes and the last thing if you really if you are want to cancel the exam due to some personal reasons then the date will be given for you also so everything will be notified soon so my dear nptl aspirants just make a note down of these dates depending on the category depending on the duration you need to note down this particular entire row and you need to be alert remember one thing your nptl exams will be conducted every season on three days so on these three days every day two sessions so total combined together six sessions will be there in which maximum you can write your nptl exams for certification so any types of queries and any types of uh, comments you can simply put it in the comment section so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah office